Okay, guys. Um, how to cook. Please tell me. How to cook these, this meat. Alan, let's not get this mixed up. First of all, here we have these beautiful long bone chops, and these are a fallow deer, okay? They've been well seasoned, salt, pepper, and all the above. I've got them on a medium to hot heat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. People also say that venison sticks to pans. This is stainless steel pan. There's not that much oil in it. Come, come round, come in behind here with Alan and have a look. Okay, watch. It doesn't stick. You, no, it's because it was hot and also because I didn't, I resisted the urge to immediately start prodding it around the pan. <laughs> All I'm doing is browning it. This is a mixture of about a third uh, light olive oil to two thirds vegetable oil. It's my cooking oil mixture. Okay, that'll do. So, here at the top shelf, here I have fallow deer, okay? Dharma, Dharma, Dharma. Okay, straight in now. Oh, these are rope. <laughs> um, now, the other thing, this is one of the great things about venison cookery. I'm not actually cooking it in a pan. And this is why it can be so easy in a home restaurant environment, you know, in a dinner party environment. Because I can do this. <laughs> Munchak. This has been cut into double chops because the single chops are so minute. And it's worth trying to get it cooked on the sides. You know, it's quite hard on that bit. There we are. <laughs> Oven set on 220, okay, centigrade. So, here's the munchak. I'll put these in first because they're going to take no time at all. Now these chops, we're going to give um, three minutes, okay? It's quite a hot oven, 220 degrees. Rest on a wooden board. Wood doesn't suck the heat out of meat. Yeah. And this is kind of a taste test, isn't it? This is... With the bone down, okay, it's fallow row monk jack in descending order. These will be quite pink, but I think it is a, it's a nice way to... They did have a good three and a half minutes in a 220 oven. It's more, it's enough time. It's, it's a cooked texture, but it's completely juicy and totally pink. There we are, have a... Do a big juicy close-up on that baby. And that is how venison ought to be cooked. Uh, is it, see how they're fully cooked in texture? And how mild is it? Oh, man, yeah. And Alan and I both agree on one thing, that undercooked venison's awful. It, it, a lot of chefs now do it almost raw. And it, that's how people get tummy upsets. Because, and it's not because of bacteria or poisoning, it's because... It's, so, it's such pure protein that people kind of reject it if it's too rare. <laughs>